video tutorial of how to use an oscilloscope. Today we'll be discussing the use of an oscilloscope, and we will use this coupled with a signal generator, a 10x probe, and a simple circuit. We know that the oscilloscope is a very useful piece of lab equipment, but it can be daunting to use it first, and this is why we're discussing this today. This is a 10x probe that we used in the labs at the University of Utah. The probe has a ground connection, a lead connection where we connect to the inside of our circuit, and a 1x, 10x setting. The first thing we do is turn our oscilloscope on using the on switch. We then connect our probe to our port A1. We then verify that our probe has the same scale setting as it has in the oscilloscope. So we switch our probe to 10. We verify that our probe has the same setting in the oscilloscope using the bottom right button. We connect our probe to our circuit by connecting the ground to the ground bar and connecting the positive to the positive of our circuit. And then we hit auto scale to better find our signal. Once we have our signal, we can find its voltage by hitting the voltage button on the measurement bar. So we can find voltage peak to peak or voltage average. We can also find the frequency and the period by hitting the time key on the measurement bar. We then connect our second probe to port A2. We once again verify that our probe has the same settings. We connect our second probe by once again connecting the ground and the positive of the probe to the center of our voltage divider. We then hit auto scale and now we have both our frequencies. With both our frequencies we once again can take measurements of voltage and we can use either source by using the source key on the bottom left of the screen. So if we select source A2, we can then select its voltage, its voltage average. We can also do the time measurements on either source, once again selecting the source key with frequency or period. Thank you for watching our video tutorial today on how to use the oscilloscope. For further information, please consult the website where you found this video tutorial or ask your TA for help. Thank you, and goodbye.